Good morning everybody, Ollie Richards here. I'm answering your language learning questions. These are questions that have come from students in my Uncovered courses. And I'm delighted to be able to answer your questions. Now today, a very interesting one from Alicia, who says, how do I practice the stuff that I've been studying? How do I practice the stuff that I have been studying or learning? Now the background to this is that in my Uncovered courses, the, uh, the whole methodology is based on what I call story learning, which is that you are doing mostly input, which means you're listening and reading to stories. Uh, and then the idea is that speaking is something that emerges later. So the main vehicle for learning is listening and reading, not through having conversation. Right? And so one of the pieces of advice that I give is, well, in terms of how much time to spend on languages every day, as a starting point, try to do one hour a day. Simple. Keep it keep it simple. One hour a day and then keep it up. But now what Alicia's asking is, well, if I do that, how do I then go and practice the stuff that I've been learning? So imagine this. I spend an hour reading and listening, but then I've used up my hour, so how do I practice it? So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a, a, a cat among the pigeons here and ask. Let me let me challenge this assumption that you have to practice the stuff that you've been studying. Now this is a this is a bit of a, a kind of curveball for for people who are used to studying in in well any any traditional education system really because the way that the education system works is you learn something you practice it for a test so the whole point of learning stuff is to be able to produce it in the test that's how education systems work that's why we are kind of we. we we're kind of getting trained to want to learn something and know it immediately. And apps are really bad at this because they, uh, you know, they do the same thing. They kind of force you to say, okay, let me get it right now. Yeah. Uh, but, but what if you didn't have to practice the stuff that you're learning? What if the goal of language learning is just to build up this, this kind of big barrel of knowledge about the language inside your brain and that then very naturally, once you've got that knowledge built up, the speaking and the ability to produce the language would then emerge from that, without you having to actually sit down and do all these exercises trying to, trying to you know, deliberately practice the stuff that you've learned. So this is really at the core of the way that I, I, I teach languages. I'm saying that you don't need necessarily to learn something and then sit down and memorize it until you know it. You don't need to. You know, instead, just carry on the learning. Keep reading. Keep listening. Keep keep up that exposure to the language, because just like a kid who's learning his or her um, mother tongue as a baby, they're not practicing. I mean, they do later. I mean, when they get to like two or three, they start to speak a lot, right? But not for the first couple of years. They're just soaking it up. That's, that's what they're doing. It's soaking it up. Their brain is listening to it, making sense of it. And then, uh, and then there comes a point what, once, once the, the kid has enough of a knowledge about the language and hasn't, has enough vocabulary, knows enough words, sort of knows how to can use basic grammar. Once that reaches a kind of critical mass of knowledge, then it's sort of like floodgates open and then speaking just comes out naturally. Not, not perfectly, but naturally. And at that point, communication, you know, being able to speak to somebody it's a lot more pleasurable, it's a lot more fun, because you, you already have the words that you need and you can understand what's being said because you've just spent so long listening to the language. It, this, is, this is my whole approach to language. I did this in my Italian project, which you can find on YouTube. You can see like, for the first month, I didn't, I, didn't touch, I didn't do any practice exercises. I didn't do any speaking, nothing, just reading and listening every single day. So, I, yeah, I would just... Suggest I challenge you on that, and just set the plant the seed that the the way to learn languages isn't necessarily the way that we that we were taught, however counterintuitive it might seem. Now, there's a a second answer to that, a more practical answer, Alicia, which is that in uh, in Uncovered you have lots of practice worksheets and practice exercises and uh, and speaking tasks as well, so that you can sit down and practice all that stuff if you want to. Uh, but you don't have to. You really don't have to. I, there, I often talk about two paths through uh, my Uncovered courses, which is that um, path number one is maybe the, the kind of standard way of you take one of the lessons, you, you know, you read, you're reading the story, you take the lesson with me, 
and then you go through all the worksheets and the speaking exercises. You do one module very thoroughly and then move on to module two. But the second pathway is you go all the way through the course just uh, reading and listening to the story. You, could, you may or may not take the lessons, the video lessons, but you just go from the beginning to the end just with the story. And then at the end, then you go back and do a second pass, doing everything in much more detail. Lots of people actually do this, and the reason why is because you, uh, through, go, through, through that first pass, through the whole course, you're just planting lots of seeds. You're, you're giving your brain exposure to all these different words and phrases and, and grammar ideas, and you might not understand it all right away, but it doesn't matter, because your brain is getting primed. So when you do go back to do that, that more focused study, everything you're just so much further along. So... In brief, to summarize, the, the options are there to study more if you want, but the key thing, like the number one thing that's going to help you learn the fastest, is by spending that one hour a day immersed in the story through input, through reading and listening. Focus on getting that done first, and then if you've got extra time and the, and the will to do so, then you can actually practice some of the exercises if you want to. hope that's helpful. Good luck. See you in the next video.